expanding. The 1999 rookie class with Asi and Danny Siegel, those guys will always be very close to me. And, you know, we all shared something. Um, and helped the PBA, and it was it was a big it was a big moment in the in the PBA and the Philippine basketball. So, you know, I'll always have a spot for them. Uh, I'll always always be happy to see them, and always be happy to compete. And I watch them play, and I root for those guys. So this is the last time of the ninth class ninety nine uh, <laughs> uh, youngster. Huh? Yeah, they'll probably you know the good thing is is maybe we'll you know when I first came in the league, um, guys like. Uh, you know, Marlu Aquino, Dennis Espino, June Lim Put, Nelson S. Tono, uh, even Daniel DeFonso. Hope I'm not missing anybody. Noli Laksin. Uh, these guys kicked my butt. You know, the first the first time I played against those guys, my first round of the eliminations, they 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 kicked my butt. So hopefully some of the young guys haven't played against me yet or haven't played against Hasi. So maybe we can return the favor one time before they take it over. <laughs> Double formation, guys. Oh, it's time out. Let's get it on the door. Let's get it on the door. Let's get it on the door. Let's get it on Twenty-seven, sila. Twenty-eight. Tapos na wala na na si Elmer, di ba? Oh, si El. Di wala po mal lang. Mal. Oh, ang February. Ang February. Oh, babayaran nila. Bin parang binayaran nila eh. Pero ang sabi, parang tutulong-tulong pa rin. I'm happy to be back on the practice court. So are, you happy to, are you also happy to be back in the PBA post? Of course. You know, I've missed the PBA. I haven't been there for a year. Um, but, you know, I think this is a good opportunity for me. Uh, this is an up-and-coming team. So looking forward to it. Would this already, already be a swan song for you, uh, Well, I'm getting up there. Uh, probably. Probably. Are you winning more years are left in your attack? Well, for sure this one. Um, then we'll see. We'll see how I do. Are you willing to accept whatever role Coach Junior will give to you? Of course. Of course. You know, I'm obviously I'm at the tail end of my career. Um, but I still feel that I have value. I can help the younger guys. And I'm still, a, you know, I'm not the athlete that I used to be. Um, but I'm still a good basketball player. Buying values with the, the youngsters of this team, the young big men, how is it possible? 
Uh, well, they're uh, throwing me around a little bit. Uh, it takes it takes a while to get used to the PBA, the physicalness of the PBA, especially if you're a big guy. So um, you kind of got to build up that uh, tough skin. And uh, I, like I said, this is just my second day, so give me a little time. I'll, I'll, I'll get used to it and give a little back. So can you say that you're saving the best for last year? I hope so. I hope so. I had, you know... I haven't really had much of an opportunity to play the last uh, two years, um, so we'll see. You know, I think that uh, you know I'm in pretty good shape. I'm 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 going to do the best that I can. So we'll we'll see what I got left, and we'll see if I can help the team. Is retiring with Global already on your mind, or you're looking at you know coming back to the team that you know? Uh, well, I haven't. You know, Hanebra hasn't really wanted me on their team the last two years. Um, you know, they've had it. That's just the way it's worked out. Um, it's been a little sad for me, but I'm just looking. Global's given me an opportunity here, and I want to make the most out of it. That's the only thing that I'm thinking about. You know, Hinebra's got a great team, and, uh, you know, I'm still close with uh, a lot of their fans. And, uh, you know, I have great relationships with their players and, and coaching staff, management. They have a towering front line now. Yeah, they're huge. They're huge. So are you excited to, you know, play against them now? Uh, so of course I'll be, well... You know, it'll just anytime you play Hanebra, it's exciting because of the big crowd, and uh, it'll be interesting to hear them boo me this time. Um, so that's all. That's all good fun. But you think the love of the Hanebra fans is still there? I think so. You know, I've, I was with that team for 12 years and had some of the best uh, moments of my career. I had some of the best moments of my life um, wearing that uniform. So that, that'll always be valuable to me. And whenever I see the fans. Um, they hit me up on Twitter. They text me if I see them. They've, they're always uh, very positive, so I'm very thankful for that. Is wearing the Hinebra jersey still, you know, open for you? I'm not even thinking about that. Like, it, it hasn't really been on my mind for a while. Um, so, you know, it's just time to move on. So you think this is already your last year? I hope so. You know, I don't want to go to any, any more, you know. This is my third team in the PBA, and... You know, at this point in my career, it just would be nice to, you know, stick somewhere. You know. So, anywhere, anything more, Eric? I know, just thank you um, for everybody. Uh, you know, whenever there's news about me, everyone seems to be very supportive. And, uh, you know, I take value in that. So, thank you. Spin. <laughs>